The federal security men were up early, braving a foggy, bitterly cold Bonn morning to patrol the grounds of the British Embassy prep school. The pupils, wrapped up in their warmest coats, waited patiently. It's not every day a prince and princess drop in on your playground. The temperature was forgotten with the arrival of the royal visitors. The multinational school providing the warmest welcome of the tour so far. It was to the children the prince and princess immediately headed. A small hand presents a smaller posy of flowers to the princess, who then shakes hands with a young boy who clearly can't believe he's actually touched a princess. Those who'd been wondering what the princess would be wearing after yesterday's above-the-knee hemline seemed equally impressed with today's more formal black-and-white outfit. The official purpose of the visit was to open a new wing at the school, the only independent school in West Germany, providing an education for children of more than 30 nationalities. The school band, who'd been practicing for months, provided a reminder of home. as the princess called in on class F, who were having a German lesson and proudly presented their homework. She was also given a demonstration of the school's new computers. From Bonn to Cologne, and a visit to the historic town hall, now completely restored from the damage suffered during the war. The prince said Queen Victoria approved of Cologne, where people spent Sundays walking in parks and listening to bands, highly preferable to dull, drunken Sundays in England and Scotland. Which was quite ironic, because the prince was immediately offered a glass of the local beer. He accepted, but would the princess? She was finally persuaded, and discovered, like most visitors to West Germany, getting at the beer through the froth can be an art in itself. Paul Davis, ITN, Bonn.